Hello guys, this is Sam. Today we are going to learn how to create a text to speech converter in JS. In the earlier lessons, we learned how to create a speech to text converter. In order to continue this lesson, you need to have the Google Chrome browser in your laptop, PC or Mac. Let me create a new directory here. This is the seventh video in the series. If you are new to my channel, watch my other videos also once this video lesson is done. Let me create a new HTML document in my sublime directory editor. Let me save it inside my 17th directory. And this is my HTML snippet. Yep. Let's create the user interface quickly before we jump into the JS part. Yeah, container for uh, Yes, container. I'm sorry. And uh, adding tag and a text area. ID is my text and text is hello. Replace this with your own text and uh, a drop down list to show all the available uh, voices. Select ID equal to voice options, and these options will be populated later from the JS code. And okay, some label span voice. Let me copy this and paste it here this will be my volume this will be my input type equal to range and id is volume slider this will uh, show the slider in the user interface and uh, minimum value equal to 0 and max equal to 1 since the value of the volume lies between uh, 0 and 1 0 is mute and 1 is the full volume I set um, value to 0 0.5 that is off of the value and I need to stay, say, set step option 0 0.1 ok so the value of the volume can be increased or decreased by 0.1 ok everything is done let me copy this and paste it here for rate ok this will be my rate okay for rate we can keep the same uh, values and i'm pasting it again this is pitch here i want to change the max value since it allows the minimum value of zero and the max value as two okay and the button to apply these settings let me use my own button button on click what you know to what you need to do is speak that's it so on now click this will call the speak method and my button text yes now we are going to add the styles quickly body background f6 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 and container same background and i want it to be aligned at the center of the page so position absolute top 50 percentage left 50 percentage and 
transform tra sorry translate x minus 50 percentage and translate y minus 50 percentage let me add a width and height to this page with 400 pixel padding uh, 20 pixel box box shadow 0 0 10 pixel 0 and color is triple C yes I'm done and container text area the text area which comes inside the container should have the width of 390 pixel and height of 100 pixel so I'm not going to allow resize in this so resize none and I don't want any outline when it is selected and that is going to be done and border one pixel solid and triple C and the label which is coming inside our uh, container yes it should be block and width 400 pixel okay it's enough for this and the span which is comes coming inside the label uh, width equal to 100 pixel and margin top is 20 pixel and display inline block and the select box which is which is coming inside the container uh, width should be 290 pixel and I want to add the same style for sorry this is container a, all the input which is coming inside the container so I'm done with this finally I want to add a style for button display line block and background should be f6 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 and padding 10 pixel 20 pixel and color triple zero border one pixel solid triple C and cursor should be pointer and I'm sorry margin top to 20 pixel and finally I want to add a button over effect box shadow 4 pixel 4 sorry 4 pixel 10 pixel and 0 triple C okay let's jump into the JS part let me add all the JS code here okay let me start here my script tag okay let's access the all uh, all the elements from the above HTML document where voice options equal to document dot get element by ID the ID is voice options let me copy this line and paste it here volume slider and it will be my red slider and it will be my pitch slider and anything else 
but I will be straight with him. Yeah, we miss this my text. And this will be my my text. Okay, everything is accessed from the JS code. Now I am going to write a method to load the voices. Okay, function load voices. No argument. Okay. Where voice is equal to speech synthesis and get voices so this will return the array of voice objects and we need to traverse this for i equal to zero voices dot length yep okay this will be my voice Okay, now let me create a new option for the drop uh, drop down element. Document dot create element option. Okay, my option is created now. I need to set the value option dot value equal to voice dot name and option dot then html equal to voice dot name i'm setting both value and inner html setting the value will be used for the coding purpose setting the inner html will be visible to the user and we need to append this to the voices option what is that voice options append child of option yes okay not options it's option okay and the final thing is the voice options cannot be retrieved by the voice name so let me create a map to get the voice by the voice name so let me add a variable here the variable actually it's a map Okay, let me initialize like this yes now voice map of voice dot name this will create a new <coughs> object to this I'm sorry voice dot name and the object okay now the loading of voices is done but see the load voices method is not yet called so options will not be populated so i can simply call this method here load voices but chrome loads the voice asynchronously all the voices cannot be available at the time of method call so i want to call this method once all the voices are loaded okay so window dot speech speech synthesis on voices change equal to function here i want to call this method load voices now the last thing a method to convert our text into speech function speak no argument is needed no body is needed sorry <laughs> body is needed actually okay let me create a new instance for the uh, speech like this speech in synthesis utterance anyway this uh, yes should be capital so a new object is created now all we need to do is setting the properties for the message object okay message dot 
volume we'll get the volume from the volume slider that's it and message dot rate equal to sorry equal to rate slider dot value and message dot pitch equal to pitch slider I'm sorry what happened pitch slider dot value and finally that text to speak message dot text equal to my text dot what I'm typing my text dot value seems everything is good let me check once oops we missed the voice let me add it here message dot voice equal to you can get the voice from the volume map oh, sorry voice map that is a voice map voice map and voice options this is the drop down menu so this will give the voice name so from this from this uh, voice name we'll get the voice object so that that will be assigned to this message dot voice okay everything is perfect now we need to call the speak method to convert this text into speech window dot speech so not windows mean speech synthesis dot speak that's it this will be okay this is enough the lowest method let's add one more method to test the compatibility of the browser I'm adding this code before all this declaration of variables and methods okay check compatibility no argument and if speech what is that speech synthesis in windows in window okay if this is not in window then this is not supported in the browser so I'll let the user okay this is my message your browser is not supported if Google Chrome please up upgrade okay now we need to call this method outside okay now we need to test it quickly okay I'm eating the speak button hello this is Sam today we are learning the text to speech converter okay today. as you can see the text we gave here is converted to the speech okay you can change the pitch rate and you can uh, change the rate and you can change the volume and test it yourself but oh sorry the voice is not loaded let me check it quickly option is not defined okay let's check the code where it's showing in the 99th line oops this is not options this is actually option okay now it will load it yeah okay thanks for watching this video listen hope you learned something new today please do subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this thank you bye bye